uh, the, also is the importance of value capture mechanism. For instance, Japan is very good at technology. So Japanese, super, super Japanese manufacturing companies always come out with excellent products, very functional, very efficient. However, Japanese manufacturing companies are not always good at uh, value capture, that means making profit out of excellent products. So still, overall, American manufacturing uh, industry is about several points more profitable than the Japanese. We have no clear cut image about, you know, Monozukuri USA, Monozukuri is manufacturing USA, but yet they have very profitable position in manufacturing. So that makes a great difference. And so my, our association, PTRM, is here to help the, uh, you know, next generation uh, enable capability mechanisms build, uh, building, uh, knowledge and survey science uh, research, and uh, value capture. And since PTRM is now proven to be very efficient for government innovation in Ukraine, Ukrainian insisted that PTRM mark should be put on national strategic plan. Uh, I don't know whether it's true or not. Now, look uh, up in what I said, uh, we have, I have messages here, global competition places for innovation, right? And a complex world demands complex uh, project management model, not just QTC. That's, that's original and still valid, but if you don't have the project, QTC doesn't make sense. And so we have to more broadly oriented toward the complex program management model. In UK, Australia, there is a growing grow, uh, school of complex, complex project management. Many people say, oh, what is the difference between the very classical, very robust, heavyweight uh, project management and complex management? So far, we have not uh, found the solution to that. There are some Australians here, so they could help me find the solution. Uh, we are seeing limitations uh, of uh, so-called uh, deductive uh, or analytical thinking in management. So what we need now is an abduction-based uh, mechanism building model. That's TPF, p is uh, still rude, but it's trying to be uh, this model. And of course, country value or even survival should be by development by structured program. So in summary, we need a new platform and methodology. We need project program as an integrative discipline. This is originally French concept. My school, Schema Business School, Roma E.S. Leo, published this concept as, as uh, early as 1979. It's still valid. It can destroy Japan's infrastructure project, eco-friendly sustainability project export, and innovative program project management concept. Life cycle program view. This is important, very important. If you invest, uh, you know, after construction, systems maintenance, operation maintenance, that will take you a long way. So this future maintenance, operation maintenance should be incorporated into project design. That's what I'm saying. Uh, program modeling in ecosystem and mechanisms building. This ecosystem is not environmental, echo. Echo means all surrounding factors, political, social, economic, uh, technical. So as project mature, project manager, program manager, you should maintain dialogue with the ecosystem. That's the key that you can uh, find the clue to new programs and project which are 
highly valued at you know, innovator and total optimization and value capture and innovation. Now, it's not my intent to teach the definition of a project. That's token and token. However, we tend to forget about its original uh, attribute of a project, saying a project is a value created and undertaken to fulfill a specific organizational mission. Do you have this concept in mind if you're a project manager, EPC project manager, right? So Adish Chain, uh, in his keynote presentation in Tokyo in March 2008, he said, project, a project or project are, is or are to create the future now. That's a real value of project, not just delivery. That's good but you should be more future-oriented about talking about a body. So in our standard P2M, uh, project programs, are value creating undertakings, and we have four classes of value. The first is, of course, asset value, for instance, fund that can generate cash flow. The second one in the intellectual asset value, knowledge. India has... Uh, high grade of knowledge. Probably you have not structured the knowledge yet uh, for the maximum benefit of knowledge utilization. Professor Dr. Komiyama, who was uh, immediate past president of Tokyo University, number one university, is an expert and uh, has invented the, the concept knowledge structuring. It's not knowledge management. Structuring knowledge, right? And so knowledge is a source of uh, innovation. That means money. And ownership value for stakeholders. This is win-win sharing, win-win experience out of working on, uh, you know, company to company, uh, including government agency, uh, success. So this ownership value for stakeholders can lead to another source of uh, very, uh, you know, productive, innovative product. For instance, LNG development. Many of us own companies, like some mobile Shell, BP, contractor, Chioda, JC Corporation, top two in the world, together with uh, MW Kelo, uh, and uh, Technip. Technip is a little bit late in coming. And so we worked together for more than 30 years. And we always knew, make a new, uh, you know, value out of uh, this uh, uh, ownership, uh, joint ownership of uh, successful project. And innovation value, although we say four, this is compound value of all the three, uh, say, asset. Uh, knowledge and ownership value for stakeholders. That's innovation value. Now, one of the reasons that uh, 